Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today we have an update on my four weeks for lipsticks series. So we are nearing the end of this little project that I've been doing pretty much since the start of the year. I think I started it in February of this year. But basically, if you are new to this series, it's a way for me to kind of shop my lipstick stash and kind of mix up which products I'm using each month. I use random.org to randomly pick four lipsticks from my whole collection of lipsticks and I have the goal of just using each one twice throughout the month just to A, get some more use out of each of my lipsticks, but also at the end of the month I'm able to give you kind of a little mini review on each lipstick. So the goal being by the end of this project, once I've cycled through all my lipsticks, I will really have been able to get to know all the lipsticks that I own and I'm planning on doing a little lipstick declutter once this is over, once I've really gotten to know all my lipsticks. Um, hopefully I can make some smart decisions and cut out things that I just don't need. I definitely have more than enough lipstick. It's one of the biggest categories in my collection, if not the biggest, so this has just been kind of a way for me to make sure I'm not neglecting any of them, but we are going to go ahead and recap the four lipsticks that I focused on in August, and then we'll go ahead and pick the next um, so the way I'm gonna do it, I've been doing four. I've been doing four each month and we are now left with just ten lipsticks. So I'm thinking for the next two months I'll just do five and five. That way we're not left with like two at the end. I felt like that would probably make the most sense. So I guess I should probably change the name <laughs> of this series. I mean it doesn't really matter. Um, but maybe I'll just call it my lipstick roulette instead. <laughs> but um, either way, let's go ahead and uh, kind of go over each of the lipsticks that I used um, in August. So I had, the first lipstick was Ulta, it was from Ulta Beauty, it was their Pat and Shine Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona. Um, all of the lipsticks in August were like either peachy or like just rosy pinky nudes, um, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but I guess I have a lot of those shades in my collection. But this is one of those glossy kind of lip, they call it a liquid lipstick because it really does stay on really well and it gives your lips quite a bit of color. It's very opaque. So it's more than just like a sheer gloss. It's more of like a glossy version of a liquid lipstick. I did wear this twice this month and I do really like this color. I like that it's very hydrating but it does have a lot more staying power than your average lip gloss. So I um, did really enjoy that. The next shade we had was one of the matte liquid lipsticks from uh, Profusion. This is one I'm wearing on my lips today so I did wear this twice including today. I don't like this. <laughs> It has, you can see it through the packaging, it has like a tiny bit of shimmer in there, but when it's on your lips, as it wears off, you will have just straight up glitter sitting on top of your lips. And I don't love that look on myself. I would rather, if I'm gonna be wearing a matte liquid lipstick, I don't want just random flecks of glitter all over my lips. And it's not like it's, not like it's a metallic liquid lipstick, it's really just like sparkly. So I don't find it to be super flattering on me, especially as it wears off. You just start seeing more and more of that glitter, which is weird. It wasn't what I was expecting. So also, I am wearing this over the Milani Lip Liner in Spice, so it does look a little bit darker because of that. But even still, it really does dry down a lot darker than it looks in the packaging. So um, that's also kind of a pet peeve of mine. But I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is gonna be one of the lipsticks I decide to declutter <laughs> once this is all over. But not all of the Perfusion liquid lipsticks are like that. This is the only one so far that I've had that weird like glitter issue with. Next we had the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. I wore this three times this month and this is such a nice formula. It goes on very thin but still feels like buttery and moisturizing. So it does look matte on your lips or I guess kind of like a satin matte but it still feels very creamy and hydrating. Sometimes bullet lipsticks will kind of tug at your lips and just not feel super hydrating, but this feels so nice and luxurious on the lips and it lasts really well too, even though it goes on feeling pretty thin. It stays on even through eating like salads and all kinds of things, like it'll still leave some color behind without wearing down weirdly patchy or anything. So I can definitely see where the hype comes from on this lipstick. It's a gorgeous formula. I love the shape of it too. It makes it really easy to kind of draw. Um, you can kind of almost stamp it on the cupid's bow um, and get that really nice shape because the way it's cut it almost has like a corner to it so it makes it really easy to draw on the lips which that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but I did really enjoy this. Love this lipstick. One of the nicest bullet lipstick formulas I've ever tried. 
and the packaging is gorgeous too. And then the last lipstick we had was another Profusion Matte Lip Cream, but this is a full size in the shade Secret, and I did also wear this twice. So I didn't wear any of these a ton of times this month, but um, I either wore them two or three times. This, for some reason, I feel like is a slightly different formula than the matte lip creams in the mini size. Um, these all came in a set, they're um, Blushing Nudes Lippy Squad, and then this came in just a duo with this and a lip liner. And I feel like this is, first of all, it has a scent to it, which the mini ones don't. This one smells kind of like a vanilla cupcake or something, and then the mini ones have no scent at all. And plus I also feel like it's just a little bit thicker, and it has a little bit of a stickier feel on the lips once it dries down. So I don't know why that is, because they're both called matte lip creams. But um, I do find the formula to be slightly different. I don't know if it's just with this one or what. Either way, this is a really gorgeous color too. Kind of a, almost like a purpley pink. And kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. matte lip color in Tea Rose. But maybe just a little bit pinker. I'm just not a fan of all these liquid lipsticks. And I actually bought <laughs> the mini set kind of by accident. I thought they were glosses and they definitely weren't. So now I have so many liquid lipsticks. And I definitely don't wear liquid lipsticks all that often. So I'm probably going to be decluttering a handful of them. But um, anyway, I am glad that I got to test those out some more. Because I was wanting to kind of form an opinion on them anyway. So there's my opinion. And so those are the four lipsticks that I was using throughout August. So let's go ahead and choose five new ones. So we are left with ten. I did acquire one new lip product this month. Um, it was just a gift from a friend. I had a friend visiting from out of town and she brought me this. It's like a little mini Tarte Tardist glossy lip paint in the shade Token. So this is the only lipstick that I'm adding in this month. So now we have ten that we're choosing from. And I'm going to choose five this time, like I said, instead of four, just to kind of... I kind of am ready to wrap this project up, and I don't want to have just two random ones left over <laughs> at the end. So let's go ahead and pick one. So we got six this time, and that is the Jordana uh, Sweet Cream in Mango Sorbet, which is a gorgeous color. So I actually had this in my makeup basket... I think in July. Um, gorgeous summer color and September is still technically summer, at least three quarters of the month. I feel like this will still be a really good color for like that summer to fall transitional period since it is almost like an orangey red. Very very bright and bold. I love this color. Happy to wear it some more this month. So I got two this time and that is another very bold lipstick from Wet n Wild in the shade Violet's Kiss. That is this like bright purple violet color was wondering when we were gonna finally get that one but that's a fun one I really have been loving like really bright bold lipsticks with like a neutral eye look lately so I think that'll be really pretty okay the next number I got was eight and that is one of the profusion lip toppers in the shade cloud nine that is this very shimmery kind of almost holographic frosty color and this is something that I could wear over I could wear it over the purple I don't think I'd want to wear it over this like orangey red, I just don't think that would look very good. But there's a lot of ways I can use this. It looks very, very glittery in the tube, but on the lips it really just looks more shiny than anything. It doesn't look like I have like giant chunks of glitter on my lips, so that's good. But this is something I could wear with a lot of different colors. All right, let's pick another one. Okay, I got seven this time. And that is the final Profusion Matte Lip Cream. We've had a lot of these in the shade Admire. So that's kind of a purpley mauve color. I'm ready to be done using <laughs> these Profusion Matte Lipsticks because they're pretty, but I'm just kind of over them. <laughs> so there's that one. And then I'll pick a fifth and final shade for us. Okay, this time I got 10, which is the Tardist Lip Paint in the shade Token. And I actually have not even swatched this yet, but it does look like just kind of... And I think it's probably a similar formula to that Ulta uh, Patent Shine Liquid Lipstick. This is a more mauve color in the shade Token. I'm excited to test that out. I've actually never had a Tarte product before, other than like a little concealer sample that I had once. Once I've just never really tried much from Tarte, so I'm very curious to see how I like this. It's so tiny and cute, I'm excited. So we got quite a variety this month.